Hi there, welcome again. This is Unit 15. I'm going to a soccer match. I'm going. I am going. I am going. Okay, so uh, number one, snapshot. Making excuses. Some common excuses for not accepting an invitation. For example, I can't. I can't. I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. I'm busy that night. I'm sorry. I can't find a baby city. I'm not feeling well. I have to work. I just got a new puppy. You know, I have to stay home with it. I have class that night. My favorite TV show is on that night. I have to get up early the next morning. So, those are excuses for not accepting an invitation. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I have to wash my hair that night. Oh my goodness. Is that an excuse? Oh, all right. So, let's continue. Uh, conversation, making plans. Making plans. Uh, baby city. Uh, uh, it's a person who take care of children. Okay? Baby city, all right? Okay, so puppy is a uh, a young a young a young dog, small dog, you know, puppy. Okay. Okay, conversation, making plans. So now let's listen and practice. Unit fifteen. I'm going to a soccer match. Page one hundred. Exercise two. Conversation. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until 5. So let's go around 6. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, that was the conversation. Say, say, uh, listen, 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 Miguel. What are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? ¿Qué vas a hacer esta noche? That is the future, okay? El futuro. Do you want to go bowling? ¿Quieren ir al boliche? Me encantaría. I love to. But I can't. No puedo. Voy a ir a un juego de fútbol con mi hermano. Oh, bueno, quizás en algún otro momento. Some other time. Mañana suena bien. I'm going to work until five. Voy a, voy a trabajar hasta las cinco. Until, until five. Ah, ok. Uh, vámonos a alrededor de las seis. Ok, after all. Uh, lo mismo que after, después. Ok, después quizás podemos tener o oh, cenar juntos. Podemos cenar. Suena agradable. Sounds great. Ok, that was the conversation making plans. Ok, now grammar focus. Grammar focus is future with present continuous and be going to. So, in question. What are you doing tonight? The verb to be I'm I'm going to going to I'm going to a soccer match. I'm going to a soccer match. Okay? Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. So, with be going to plus verb what is she going to do tomorrow? What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. The verb to be is going to plus a verb. Work. She's going to work until 5. Ella va a trabajar hasta las 5. So, going to, the verb to be plus going to is va a. Ella va a trabajar hasta las 5. ¿Ok? We have here time expressions, expressions 
tonight, esta noche, tomorrow, mañana, on Friday, el viernes, this weekend, este fin de semana, next week, la próxima semana. Now complete the invitations in column A with the present continuous used as future. Completed responses, responses in column B uh, with be going to. For example, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go on Saturday. So, what are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Okay, that was number one. Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? We're having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? So, so you have to complete the B, C, and D. Okay, you have to review this. You have to review this grammar. So, now word power. Complete the word map with phrases from the list. Then add one more example to each category. So, leisure activities. We have spectator sports friendly gatherings, live performance. So, for example, uh, barbecue is a friendly gathering. Barbecue, uh, picnic, that is a friendly gathering. Okay. Okay. Spectator sports. Well, ba baseball game, basketball game, tennis match. Okay. Live performance, dance performance, um comedy at and rock concert okay you have to complete the others okay so now let's listen the second conversation can i take a message can i take a message good morning parker industries hello may i speak to ms graham please i'm sorry she's not in can i take a message yes please this is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, that was the conversation and now grammar focus messages with uh, with tell and ask statement. Okay? The meeting is on Friday. That is a statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Okay. So request, call me this afternoon. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Okay. So look at the message, it sleeps. Ask someone to pass on these messages. Use the words in parentheses. Then compare with a partner. For example, number one, Joel. Joel, the movie, is at 7 o'clock. Could. Could you tell Joel the movie is at 7? Okay. Mitch, pick me up at home around 4 o'clock. So, would, would you ask... Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around 4 o'clock? Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around 4 o'clock? Okay? Okay, this one. Please tell Eva that the concert on Saturday is cancelled. 
so I have to complete this, this, and this. So uh, that was all for today. So goodbye.